on a walk. So I'm on a walk, but look at this rice. It's got ears on it now, so it's actually grown rice. So look, they're lovely. So this rice field now is producing, or not far to produce rice. I'll try and get closer up for you in a moment. Look, that's your rice. So that's your that's your rice. That's what it looks like, absolutely spectacular. Not long to go as far as I know. So that's your ice terraces here, absolutely beautiful. Right, I'm going for a walk. Actually, we've got no budget, no petrol. So don't know when the videos are going to get uploaded. <laughs> you know, they might be in different order. So you might get Saturday, Sunday different depending on what I'm doing today. So no budget, so I'm on a walk guys. Right, let's continue. It's about half past four. It's, ab it's absolutely glorious. There's no sun out and I think I'm going this way. So we'll see what we can find. Seen an eagle actually going to these trees or over the top. And actually she did. She looked like a big buzzard, but she was a big eagle. Not a mountain hawk eagle, I don't know what she was. Big brown eagle. But, you know, she was flying very low. She was just flying at the top of these trees. And I normally see her actually fly down these trees. Well, mountain hawk eagle, one or two of them, they always fly down these trees. What they're doing is hunting. And if there's anything on the top of the trees or just below on a branch, They'll actually take it straight off. So that's what they're doing hunting. Right, we're off on a walk. Right guys, we've got sweet potatoes here. So there are your sweet potatoes. And they're just growing at the side of the road, at the side of the guy's garden. We've got some bananas on up there, absolutely spectacular. I we're actually going to go to the rice fields. So everything's beautiful and lush. You know, I were actually going to the sugar cane fields actually. So that's going to be tomorrow now. So we'll have a little walk. Looks like this lorry's coming out. So we'll move. We've got a netball court. So it looks like somebody here has got a netball court. So that's it, look. You can see. You can see how much rain we've had. So that's it, guys. Not so bad actually, so we'll see where this runs off from. Now I've never been in there, but I'm sure that's a pig farm. So, could be totally wrong, it might be a chicken farm. But it's something like that, chicken farm, pig farm. Like I said, glorious. So I'm going to have a walk up to the ponds. Right, so I'll have a little walk. See, ah... I think it's running from down these fields. So that's it. I get past these houses and we'll have a little chat. In fact, keep walking a little. So I can see some chickens. Now you know guys, we actually had a lot of chickens round here. And a lot of chicks. But you know, one by one, I actually watched them all die off. So that's it, look, she's got some nice big chicks. Hello there. Yes, you come back. She's there, look. So she's got some nice big chicks, which is very nice to see. Because, as you know, we got bird flu and a lot of the chicks and chickens all died off, which is actually a very... It's a big shame. It's a big loss. You know, big loss. Because basically it's people's livelihood, so they make a little bit of money. But you know, when you see it, little chicks start to die off as well. Look at this little sorry sorry store. Everywhere you go you've got a lovely little sorry sorry store. And it looks like he's got a nice garden here as well. Very nice. So he's doing something with land. And he's growing on his land. I think they're sweet potatoes. I could be totally wrong. They might be squash. I could be totally wrong. Because I don't know what, I don't know what most of the stuff are here, to be honest, guys. But this is it, look. Now, when it's raining, you can see... If I come up here on by when it's raining, 
it's absolutely crazy you know bikes slipping all over so it's two feet down and it's not so bad but I'll tell you something if you don't if you do know about bikes or you don't know about bikes if you're riding a motorbike a trail bike or an enduro bike in this weather in this terrain what you need to do which is a good tip because this is what I do actually I, fa I found this out by mistake actually get your tick over a little bit high I'll try and talk over this music so I'll get your tick over a little bit high and then your bike's ticking over and what that does it pulls you through this lot so it, you know if you lose if you're actually powering through this lot when it's really really bad and boggy and it will bog a 125 down you won't have a power on 12 brake horsepower you won't take power to pull through very good but it will pull through okay but that tick over high tick over helps because what it does when you're powering through and you come to a deep spot where bikes struggling to get through it keeps ticking over and it'll pull you through otherwise you know your bike might just cut out and then it's either kick it up or electric starting it can be quite a job right so over here look that's my place so that's my place that's the volcano and she's in the clouds help who's this watching us everybody watches everyone around here especially the carabaos so that's it look I'll have a little walk up here and we'll see what we can see. I can hear crazy dogs barking. Right, it actually looks. It's been a while since I've had a walk. In fact, let me turn the camera around. Let me show you this first. So that's what you've got. You've got to come through this stuff. And when it's dark at night, you know, you can't see where you're going. And this is what you eat, look. They've cropped this sugar cane here, but they're cropping now around here. And that's what I we're going to do. We're going to go to sugar cane field and do a video. Right, see, you hit this lot, and you've got your girlfriend on back, and it's quite, uh, right, yeah, it's deeper than it looks. Let me have a look. So it's, it's deeper than it looks. It's actually from six inch to about a foot to a foot to two foot in some places and your bike just goes blood on ah like this crap here and it fetches you off bike no I ain't come off bike looks like we've got a carabao up here on road right guys so we'll have a little walk like I said looks like they've been cropping right we've got a carabao here on road they were there a minute to go and I don't know how long his rope is, but he's, a, he's not so old. Quite, uh, like I said, they're quite a nice animal, but you can't trust a carabao. Can't trust anyone come to that, simple as that. You know, he's got a long rope, he could easily get to me very, very fast. Looks like there's a bull up there as well. Right, so, I think he's happy just to munch on a bit of grass. And whatever's left over of the sugar cane. So that's it, always be careful around carabaos. Simple as that really. Well, that's a young sugar cane field. Now I don't know how they've planted that. As far as I know, now then I could be totally wrong because it don't look like sugar cane I'm normally used to seeing. So I'm not sure. Don't know I'm not sure if it is sugar cane. But there's a guy up there with a carabao and he's farming it let me look that's not sugar cane it looks like a sugar cane stem but when they take sugar cane cuttings guys are really big and thick so I don't know if it's corn so I don't know if it's a cornfield but there's a guy up there walking down and he's actually he's going through these furrows you know so he's doing his gardening so to speak farming so that's what he's doing, I don't know what that is. It looks like uh, lemongrass. But like I said, I'm not sure what it is. Could be sugar. It's not sugar cane, I'm sure it's not sugar cane. To be honest, I don't know what it is. Don't know what that crop is. So, looks like there's a nice crop in there for someone. But you can see, look. 
is actually going down these furrows and he's pulling that soil up and he's softening it up so rain can get through and water this crop because really you know once that soil bakes hard it's hard for that crop to actually get water through to it you know it just runs off soil when it bakes hard so I'm not sure what that crop is but like I said there's a guy over there and he's actually going down these furrows and that's what he's doing right let's continue there he is going back up look must be hard work that in this weather Guys, this is where we are. We've got the beautiful eucalyptus. This is where I normally see eagles as well. You know, I normally see eagles flying down these eucalyptus. Like I said, they're hunting. So they're looking for food, take birds off at top. So this is where I normally see eagles. Normally. And there's a dog down there and he's yap, 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 yapping. So... Whether he lives close here or not, he's there, look, side at path. Yeah, and there looks like there's some farm equipment further down there. Don't know if it's for rice, but where those trees are there, there's an house, so maybe that dog's from there. So we have a little walk over to the pond. I mean, look at that tree, how it's grown, absolutely spectacular. Yeah, so it looks like there's quite a lot of dogs. And it's hard going here as well, guys. You know, on a motorbike. Once you get to this path here, it's really hard going on a motorbike, especially a low-powered motorbike. You know, you need nobblies on. But you just can't. They just don't work on road nobbly tyres. So that's it, look. It's really hard going through this lot on a motorbike. Especially when you're coming back and it's dark, you know, this, you've got girlfriend on back, it's hard going. You can do it, but it, I can tell you now, it's not much fun. Definitely not much fun. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful tree. That was a big fish. Really big fish there. I think the tilapia guys in here, maybe catfish. So this is where we are, we're at the pond. Looks like that four wheel drive's turned round. That's where concrete road runs to. So sooner or later, they're actually going to put a concrete road here. So they're going to put a concrete road here. And that's it basically, you're going to get a concrete road. I mean, if I walk this way, where you can see them kids and the mama up past there, that goes across the river, guys. You can see a motorbike with a light on, that's where the river, that, that way is where the river is. So I think the river will probably be up a little bit, but not so bad. So it's quite beautiful here. So, I'm just going to have a little walk around the pond. In fact, when I manage, let me turn the camera around. In fact, let me get over here first. Need to see what I'm doing around here. Because you never know what's here. Look up in the trees. She don't know what's up in trees. You just never know. Right. So, let me get to the other side. At this pond. Mm. 
don't know what that guy's on about. He looks like he's had to park his four wheel, well somebody's parked a four wheel drive up. Could be farmers, who knows. Who knows what's going off. So it looks like it's actually burst here. It's banking. Look. So it looks like it's bur bust, burst, whatever you want to call it. So it's probably lost quite a bit of water. But not so much because it's raining all the time now so it's not so bad. Absolutely beautiful. You know guys when you come here, I mean we've missed it today because there's not much sun. I normally look over there that's towards back -hollered. When I go over there here that guy's walking with a white t-shirt. You can normally look over into back -hollered over here. Over into Mercy back and the sky is absolutely beautiful. You know, it's absolutely red, but that's not going to happen tonight. Now, that guy there is going up that banking. And I'll tell you why he's going up that banking on his motorbike. Because, see, he's struggling getting up that banking on his motorbike. So you should be able to see him. Some here there. Somebody's got off bike now. Looks like a friend. So I don't know if they're going up that way and down to our place. That's a mosquito that's biting me. Bad place to be around water. Because <laughs> mosquitoes like it. So they normally go up where that guy is there. But actually, yeah, he's, and then they come around. Because otherwise, tricycles do the same. You've just got that path there what's so mudgy and slippy and you cannot push that bike through it. Or oh, it's very hard to ride that bike through it. So it's really hard. I know because I've done it in rain. I don't even know how I managed to do it. Kept it in second gear. I managed to get through here. And then I thought I'd go up through grass. I went up through that grass there to go up to the top. And it was waterlogged, you know, and it was slippy and slidey. But I kept, I just... I just managed to do it, just keeping revs fairly low but not too low, so you know, you can look at it and think it's quite safe but it's not, so that, that's it, we're here at the pond. Right guys, good evening, Mama Mary's is over that way, but we're not going there, I'm actually just going to have a little walk around this pond and have a little look and maybe if I can catch some really nice sky. I'll do a video, but this is absolutely strangling me. I thought I'd bring me a cap hat, just in case we got some rain. Now, you know, as I've said, I've got no budget whatsoever. I ain't got a book, I ain't got a dime, simple as that. So I've got no money at all. So, when I do manage to get some money, don't know where money will come from, I need to get monetized quick. My subscribers are going up going up and up so maybe soon i'll get sus i'll get some subscribers might be a month or two and i might be monetized now i was chatting to a guy in mercia yesterday i don't know if it was yesterday or the day before like i said i'm on reserve so i can't go out on bike so we're like sooner or later little bit what's in tank i'll have to go into mercia just being bit by a mosquito, so I know that's going to kill. I can feel it itching like mad. So, I was chatting to a guy and I couldn't explain to him. You know, he says, what's the name of your channel? I said, I've, I've changed the name of the channel and I, I written it down for him. Now, he works in marketing, Mercia. And then he says, is it okay if I make bad comments on your channel? I says, no. It's not okay if you make bad comments on my channel. I said, if you make bad comments, bump, I'll delete the comment. Why? I think, and then he asked me if I were on Facebook. I said, yeah, I'm on Facebook. I'm on Facebook and I'm on WhatsApp. But, and I'm on Instagram, but I'm not on there very often. And to be honest, Instagram, wow. I don't know what it is with Instagram, you know. I actually post, there's a big turkey over there, she, he's got three females. So before they go, I get you a shot of these and I, I carry on chat. But, you know, in mercy, he couldn't understand, right? He says, how many subscribers have you got? 
I said I've got 2,000, over 2,500 now. That's not very many. I said, it's took me two years to get there. It, that's how hard work it is. It's very, very, very hard. Couldn't explain it to him. He says that the Americans have got 100,000 subscribers. Look guys, we all start with zero. We all start with nothing. And you have to work at it. Okay, maybe if I go home and I sit on a settee and I sit there and go, Hi guys, here we are. Well, what happened to me when I went to Bacolod? What happened to me when I went to Mercia? What happened to me in England? I nearly got killed, I nearly got... And then I start chatting about my past. You know, I might get 100 subscribers or I might not. You know, it, it depends. Listen, YouTube is very, very hard work and you don't get paid. So you don't get paid for two years, you know, you do a lot of hard work, you don't get any pay whatsoever, you do not get paid till you get monetized, and you need 4,000 watch hours, but I tried to explain this to him, and I couldn't really explain to him, he said, so I can't make bad comments, I said, no, my channel is not that sort of channel where, you know, I'm chatting about, I mean, I could change channel, I could like, I could do another channel, you know, where I just sit, sit down in house and I just chat about things. I never go out to house, I don't come out here into wilderness, I don't come into countryside, you know, real videos, I do real videos, so I work hard, I'm all over the place, it's hard work, takes a lot of time, don't get paid for it. I don't even, you know, I get very little help, but I have had some help through one or two friends which I'm grateful for, but I don't get any support whatsoever, you know, so that's it, that's real life. So YouTube can be very hard work to start with. You know, if you ain't got a job, you ain't got an income, you just have to keep working and working and working at it. Let me get you these turkeys. I don't know, like I said, I ain't got best phone, but there's two or three white turkeys there, They've moved out of camera. So let me try and go round. There's normally carabao in here. But this pond's up nicely now. So it's there, look. It's a nice big turkey there. See? It's a big turkey. And turkeys here, actually, guys, as far as I'm aware, in the Philippines, it's got three females there, three white females. They're quite expensive. You know... So this is what I'll actually work for sooner or later. I will, I will, if I have to leave Philippines and come back, I will come back. In fact, I'll buy the land here then before I get here. So, but like I said, now buying land here in the Philippines, you have to have a good lady. And that's another topic. I might chat about that for a little while. But that's him, look. Mr. Turkey with his females. Absolutely beautiful. I can, you know, you can hear him gobbling away. Right, guys, so that's, let me just change. So that's it. I couldn't really, I couldn't explain to him, you know. You know, there's, you can't really do a bad comment. I'm out here, right, and I'm in countryside, and I'm doing real Philippine life. Now, I live in province in Philippines, and I live like a Filipina. In fact, I'm poorer now. So I don't, because I've got no way to make money. So I've crossed that bridge. Well, I can't cross it. I'm on that bridge now. I'm here. So, like I said, I need to get monetized. Otherwise, I need to do something else. So it's a case of going back to England, simple as that. But I am actually living like a Philippine, Fi Filipina. And this is what I'm doing. I live in the province. My videos are real. Now, real videos. Once upon a time, you know, if that were me, if that were me, I'd have pigs in there. Or I'd grow something in there and I'd be making money. And because I ain't got no land here, I can't make money. So Because I can't grow no, can't garden. Simple as that, really. Right, just a moment. Right, guys, so what I were on about was, yeah, I'm always looking around, so what I'm on about is, looks like someone's had hold of these leaves, look. It's 
So some it's ate them away. And it does look like they've got a deficiency. A lot of nice spiders. So it could be a deficiency. So that's what that could be. I don't know, copper, whatever. Could be a deficiency. Right, just have to watch where I'm going. So I was chatting about Instagram actually. Now I went on Instagram trying to get more YouTube subscribers. But now I know exactly how to get more YouTube subscribers, so to speak, you know. So building a channel's hard work. Right, so what am I in about with you? Instagram. Well, Instagram, a lot of people, they just go and upload a photo. So they go onto a website, you know, right, that tree there. So this tree here, not exactly a tree. So what they do is they upload a video. They don't actually upload a video, they upload a picture. So they upload a picture of that tree there. So you've got that tree there. They upload a video of that tree there. And what happens with that tree there? They put picture on Instagram. And they, and they get thousands of If you ain't got a pair of tits and a, big, and, and, and a big ass, you know, Instagram, that's what seems to be views. You know, that's what gets views. Sex, it, it, sex, sex sells, simple as that. But they put a tree, they put a picture of a tree on there. Now, I'll go out and I could make a video of that same tree and I could chat about that tree. I could tell you what that tree is. I could tell you how old it is, blah. And I could chat about that tree, make a video, a good video, so to speak. And then get free views. And what I did, I thought, well, this don't seem... This is not... Yeah, this can't be right, this. You know, I've been on Instagram for months and months and months. Same with Facebook, that's hard work. Facebook's got crazy. So that's got crazy now, Facebook. It's all arse and tits. Simple as that. That's what it is. And it's got crazy. And for you to try and make money on there, work it out. You know, work it out. So, I mean, you have to do what you have to do, I suppose. Simple as that. So, you know... You've got somebody, he'll upload that picture, a picture of that tree and I get thousands and thousands of views and I thought, right, so I had two, I had two Instagram accounts. So what I did is I took a picture, same picture, saw this picture, hi guys, right, that's a video, a picture, whatever you want to call it. I put that picture on my new Instagram uh, after about a month. I think I got about two views, and then I put I, I put the same same video picture on my other account, and within about half an hour, I got hundred and something like hundred and sixty views, hundred and sixty likes. So I thought, right, I'm getting hundred and sixty likes on this account, on in same thing, Instagram. I'm getting 150, 160 views on Instagram on this account, right? We just, we same picture, exactly same picture or same vi little video. And then I go on to my other one and I might get three a month. So, work it out. I don't know how to work that one out. So I thought, well, Instagram actually is just a waste of time. So, I, and now there's another one, it's called Fred's. So I thought I'd go on Fred's, so I'm on Fred's, same thing. If I'm lucky if I get one view. But my, my old account, Instagram account, you know, I was getting into hundreds, 500, 1,000 views. And this is in a day, this is in one day, you know, or a period of a week. we other one, you know, it was a month. I'm not joking, one, two a month. And I, I couldn't really understand that and I still don't understand it. So I thought, what an absolute waste of time. Went on to Facebook. I don't really know how Facebook works anymore. So I went on to Facebook, did loads of videos, got over 5,000 subscribers, followers, win days, because I really worked hard, really worked hard at it, got a lot of people following me. And then I got all these restrictions. I thought, well, how come I've got all these restrictions? I've got all these people following me. I put my videos up and then that just got where I thought I can't be bothered with this it's just such it's such hard work 
and I don't think anybody on Facebook knows what they're doing. And now what I've got is I've just got loads of people that contact me. Aye. So I've just got loads of people contact me. And what they say to me is, Aye, can you watch this video? Can you watch this video? Can you watch this video? And I thought, well, I don't really have time to do that. You know, 50,000 videos a day. So that's what I did, trying to look for subscribers. But, like I said, when I actually do manage to get a bit of money, one way or another, I'll actually go start doing live video. So I'll actually start doing live video. Now I'm actually looking for other alternatives in YouTube. I'm looking for other alternatives than YouTube where I can upload videos and make money straight away instead of waiting two years. Instead of waiting two years, 5,000 watch hours, let me move because there's a guy coming up on his bike. So that's what I'm doing. So that's what I'm waiting for now. I'm, I'm actually, when I do get a connection, that's what I'm looking for. I'm going to look for other ways actually to try and get some type of money or I so some type of money so a fagging gob <laughs> riding bike right why not so that's what I'm actually looking for because that's where I am at this moment no money so that's what I'm looking for now so guys Simple as that, hard work. Why? Well, Americans, how come American? How come this American guy's got 100,000 subscribers? Well, American guy probably started with zero, right? And whatever happened is, you know, he might have just got these titles because it's actually a learning curve, YouTube. You know, you've got your hashtags, you've got your tags. You've got your titles. I, I didn't know a lot about all these, but now, like I said, hopefully my YouTube channel's going to just skyrocket. And, and I'll just keep working at it, so I'll get there in the end. And one day, I'm sure, I'll, one day, I'm sure, one day, I'm sure I'll, I'll go, wow, I can remember when I had, you know, 50 subscribers. Such a such hard work, and then I can remember when I got five hundred, a thousand, and I can remember when I got ten thousand, and it were really hard. But now it's quite good, cause you know you're getting paid for it. So that's why I'm looking for other platforms. So if I can find another another platform that pays, you know, you'll upload your video if people want to watch it. You get paid. You get paid some type of income. Whether it's 300 pesos or 200 pesos, you know, I need, that's what I need now, that's where I am. So I've got no assets, I've got no pension, and I actually want, wanted to talk about something today, but I actually thought about this. You know, you guys that come here into the Philippines, I will actually chat about this. And it's you, it's you guys, you know, you... 40, 50, 60 year old, whatever you are, 70 year old. I'm slushed up to eyeballs. It keeps splashing up my legs, so... You know... Right, I can hear music, so I'll try and talk over it. So, you know, you come into the Philippines, this is what I want to chat about, let me have a look. Right. So, I want to actually chat about it online, and I will actually make a video, you know. You're meeting girls online, you come into the Philippines, it's going tits up, and you're losing all your money, and you know, you're being scammed. I actually do want to chat about that. You know, you fall for honey trap. So you fall for this honey trap. I don't know if you know about honey trap, but I'm sure some of you have been in that honey trap. You know, I'm sure, I'm sure you, some of you have been in that honey trap, so... It's not a good place to be, and it works out. It works out where you think, "Wow, what what the hell happened?" You know, such a nice people turn bad. But I will actually chat about that. Like I said, I might sit, might sit in house and chat about it. It's easier for me to sit down in house and chat about it. So that's what I might start to do. I might start to walk a little up that path and a little, you know, and then start chatting. 
I might get uh, more subscribers just sat chatting so that's basically what I did actually want to chat about but I did actually want to go to the sugar cane fields because like I said it's on foot now so you might get me chatting a lot oh, we're off fruit sugar cane here so that's it guys honey trap I wanted to chat about honey trap and it sounds like a lot to you guys have actually been in honey trap you know and I don't understand you at all because I'm going to make a video and I'm going to tell you exactly how it works it will be quite a long video and I'm going to tell you exactly how it works how the scams work because I've been there uh, how the scams work and how you can actually keep safe so that will be I'll make a video on that another time let me just walk through this lot straight through it yeah I was born I was born in a town at the side of the country so that's all I did when I was a kid that's all I did when I was a kid I was always in countryside I never went to school didn't like school never went to school that's that's another story but that's what I'm going to do I'm actually going to make a video on the honey trap so now when you watch my videos if, if you watch the beginning of my videos and then you skip the videos you will actually miss quite a lot of things you know simple as that so that's my little chat for today I'm heading back home so that's where we're heading back home so there's no beautiful sky actually no beautiful sky at the back of us so that's what I'm going to do make a nice video yeah and like I said the guy's probably subscribed now because he is a friend of mine and he work, like I said he does actually work in Mercia Market now I suppose if he if he does subscribe and he watches the video a lot because it's hard for Filipino people you know to get a load it's hard for them to get a load and that's you know to load the phone so they can watch your videos and that's something else as well guys you know if you've got like people watch subscribe but it's hard for them to watch your videos because they actually don't have money for a load to watch your videos so then you have to make shorter videos and then I got a comment off someone hey you know I've been at this two years now you know I've studied it, studied it big style, I've been on YouTube, how to get more subscribers. You just have to work at it, simple as that. There's no magic, there's no magic trick. You just make your videos and then it's down to YouTube to push that video and a lot of time it can be with, like I said, tags, hashtags. So you learn, right, I'm here now, I'm, like I said, honey trap. Now, if you make a comment, this video, I don't know when it get uploaded, but we're on Sunday, might be, I don't know, Wednesday, Thursday, whenever I can get back to, a, whenever I can get back to Mercy to try and get a, an internet connection. So, simple as that, really, which is not going to do me any favours. So, make a comment, honey trap, and I will make it, and I'll, I will actually tell it how it is, but... I'll not go too far into it, in other words, I'll not go too far personally into it, but I actually will, looks like lemongrass, see what I mean, that's how you grow stuff, in fact I'll reverse the camera, right, so look, hello there, a good way to, how to grow in plastic bags, is it lemongrass? I don't know, okra? Ah, uh, <laughs> so, it's looking good. So that's it, it's good. So it's good, probably thinking I'm a crazy foreigner. Right, so that's it, look. I'm back here, Rosie. So that's it, that's why we need land, so we can grow. You know, you can grow all your food organically and you can't beat it, can you? So that's it, look. Mm. 
Right, the mob. Right, guys, so that's what I'm actually going to do. I'm actually going to make a proper video chatting about the scams and the honey trap. Hello there! <laughs> so, coming soon. Hi! So, that's what's going to happen. So, so you learn, so you learn. So, when you do come here, you know what to expect, you know. But whether you listen or not, or whether you know you know it all, or whether you make your comments, uh, it, it's still going to come, I'll still make one. So simple as that really. So I'm basically back home now. We've just got right corner to go. I mean I looked at my legs yesterday. Now before I came to the Philippines, my calves were massive. So I've got big legs, big calves. And I looked, I actually looked the other day because I got bit by mosquitoes and, and ants. I got bit by fire ants and I actually looked at my calves and where my calves are really big because all I do when I'm at home in England is I walk and I walk and I keep fit and what I've been doing here in the Philippines is not so much walking, bike riding every day up to up to now till, we, till like I said till I'm broke so I got big calves, big legs, and I looked at him yesterday and I thought, wow! And my calves, they're always solid. You know, year in, year out, they're solid. They just stay solid. They never go down. But because I'm not walking around, they've gone down. So, I mean, they're quite big ish, but they're normally really, really big. You know, muscles normally really big. So, that's it. Another thing what's gone down. But not to worry. So simple as that, really. Right, we're back home now, so to speak. I don't know what they're building here, but they are building. Hello. I think camera. 